Jeff Davis awoke one morn from a dream, a horrible dream, a horrible dream. He jumped out of bed with a terrible scream, a terrible scream gave he. He dreamed that a mudsill stood close by his bed in the garb of a swamp in flat. saying, come along, traitor, with me. Jeff Davis, he stared, he trembled and shook, he was mightily scared, and by friends all forsook. For a very long passage, he knew he was booked. He knew he was booked, did he? He stood all aghast as he viewed a strange scrawl. It was a handwriting he had seen on the wall, predicting at once succession's downfall. What a mighty great fall, said he. Dear Yancey, Cobb, Benjamin, Thompson, and Floyd, your hearts are as pure as the gold on a Lloyd, but I verily fear we shall all be destroyed, and I'm greatly annoyed, said he, of our villainous doings, I know you won't preach, for thirty long years secession we've preached. And we never stole anything out of our reach, quite out of our reach, said he. Their gold did advance for tobacco and cotton. They wanted a chance to break the blockade. They promised their aid, but they were not afraid. Not they. But the Yankees, by magic, they sent down a fleet and closed all our rivers and harbors complete and caused us to suffer defeat, said he. Our northern secessioners made us be They'd be with us, fight with us, never deceive. But their cowardly hearts have caused us to grieve, have caused us to grieve, said he. Both England and France, they now look askance to aid us. They've not even broken a lance. Those big bullies have left us on nothing to dance. I'm nothing to dance, said he. Ye fools of ambition, take heed of my fate. Once proud of my
my position of power and estate. Had I remained loyal, I might still have been great. I deserve the world's hate, said he. My countrymen all take warning by me. Stand by the old flag and true liberty. Prosperous, glorious, and honored you'll be in spite of the world, said